Hey everyone, Thomas here coming to you from MGMClassicCars.com and today I have this 1972 Chevrolet Chevelle that has been highly modified and I can explain <clears throat> what those things are as far as the driveline as we continue in our video. First and foremost, um, it's got a really nice paint job. Car came out of Georgia where we found it from a friend of mine. Um, the cranberry red paint is in very good condition along with the black rally stripes. As you can see, it sits on a set of Kregers which look awesome on this hot rod. You got Kreger wheels with the BFG Good Goodyear tires. The wheel opening moldings, rockers, all in very good condition along with dual sport mirrors, the door handles. The black vinyl top in good condition and we'll move in a little bit closer as we progress in the video as you can see the dual exhaust in the back uh, my buddy from georgia got the car from kentucky so as you see the plates there rear chrome bumper is in very good condition the emblems look good on the car as you can see the black rally stripes have been painted and clear coated all the trim around the glass is in very good condition along with um, the emblem on the side of the fender and the door handles like I mentioned earlier. It does have the bulge hood on it as you can see as well. There's your dual sport mirror on the passenger side. It's got a great look to it guys. Front chrome bumper is excellent along with the front grille. I'm gonna move in a little bit closer and share with you any defects in the paint and I'll point those out as we progress here okay as I said cranberry red paint was a standard color someone added the uh, 502 emblem there it kind of gives away what's under the hood <laughs> but everything looks good here okay let's look down here there is a little blemish down here, okay, and over here. So there are little blemishes there. I do have a shop that can take care of that locally. But we do sell cars as is conditioned. All right, moving a little bit closer. Everything here looks great. Stripes look good. Check out underneath really quick. Big 12 bolt there, the dual exhaust, 373 posi gear. It's got the fall master setup. All right, moving along on the passenger side. Everything here looks great. Okay. So this one's got the hood pins. Okay. There's a little blemish there that can be touched up. It's easy to find cranberry red paint. That's just rude. A little touch up right there. And one right there. So as you can see, those are all the blemishes on my 72 big block Chevelle. So what I'll do is I'll show you the trunk, the interior, and then I'll move forward onto the engine compartment and share a little bit more about the details. SS door panels. Doors look great. Original creases for the doors. Weather stripping looks good. Door sill plates look good. Inner and outer jams look great as well. Factory SS bucket seats, console. Car showing 18,331 miles. I'm sure it's 118,331 miles. It was told under 5,000 on the rebuild, or should I say the crate 502 motor. 
It's got um, an aftermarket stereo, as you can see here, with the CD player. Okay, aftermarket triple gauges and kick panels. Kick panel speakers right there. Excellent dash pad. Nice door panel on the passenger side as well. Headliner is tight with all the seat belts intact. Package tray is clean with the six by nines. Other stripping on the car, everything looks good. All the way, all the verticals and horizontals as well. So everything there looks pretty good. SS um, carpet there as well for the car. Um, there's an aftermarket RPM tag there, and then that right there is my uh, holder for my camera. Let's move forward to the trunk. This car is um, factory sheet metal. Hence, you know, the car being from the South, Kentucky area, Georgia area. It's gonna be an original sheet metal car and I'll show you. That's what I was told, but let's double check everything. So as you can see, these factory GM stamping numbers are right there, okay. Looking inside here, uh, I'll get my hand in there. All right, I don't feel any welds, any patches. So that 100% is original on that side. On the passenger side as well, we got the factory stampings. And again, when I slide my hand underneath here, there are no patches. So that tells me the passenger side is all original as far as the sheet metal as well. The trunk floor is excellent. There's no worries there. All right, so that concludes the exterior parts of the Chevelle. This back emblem, I would replace it. It is original to that bumper, but I would replace it. It's like 40 bucks on eBay. So there you go. That's the exterior part of it. Let's, um, let's check out the hood, under the hood. So let me go back here. To put fuel, a lot of people ask me, where do I put fuel? Well, to put fuel on this one is right, so you flip the plate over and get that there, okay? And that's where you would um, definitely put the fuel. Now, to pop the hood on a 72 Chevelle, it's right underneath this bumper right here. Just pull it, okay? And that pops open the hood. And when I do that, bam, 502. 502, 502. The emblems used to be here, but they, um, the adhesive did not work that well. So, but as you can see, it's got the vintage air conditioning, which blows very cold. <laughs> it's got the upgraded aluminum radiator, which keeps it cool. Newer battery, chrome alternator, newer water pump. Pulleys have been replaced. You've got a big fan there. You got the polished aluminum intake with the four barrel carb. It's a Holly. Set of headers. All the wiring on, under the car has been done. All the ignition has been upgraded. All the hoses. Everything looks good under the car, under the hood. Factory color code on this car is 75. Okay, which you guys can do a little homework. Let's see what that originally was. I can't do everything for you guys. Anyway, let me shut this. Normally you would take take these, which I'm gonna do. Put them back on the car. Okay. All right. Let's get back into this bad boy. The center glove box here broke. Someone leaned on it, so we're going to have that replaced. All right. That's like 10 bucks, 15 bucks. All right. Pressing the horn. There is no horn. There are no wipers. Okay, this is good. It's a hot rod. So no wipers, no horn. 60 pounds of oil pressure. Volt gauge meter right now is not working. The temp gauge does function along with the cold air conditioning and the JVC radio does function. Along with the RPM tech. Let's mount this, we'll go for a little ride. So it's a 502, it's 
backed up by an automatic three-speed trans and it lights up the tires. Don't let it fool you. That was close. That would have been fun. <laughs> but anyway, definitely a posse. <laughs> Speedo works, and my left turn signal and right turn signal function as well. All my cars are sold as is. You can't go wrong with the 502, I'm telling you. It stops excellent. It's got front power disc. It's got power steering for easy turning. One hand. All the lights function. Front headlights. AC works good. Sitting on his Kreger, this thing is badass. transmission shifts just like it should so there's pretty much everything about the car <coughs> um, MGM classic cars is located at 150 South Church Street in Addison Illinois we're 20 minutes from the Chicago O'Hare Airport I'm 45 minutes from Midway Airport so if you guys wanted to fly in I'll take you out for a ride you got to call by appointment only and um, you need driveway delivery you're gonna get exactly what you see in the video and what you see in my photos so take your time and uh, review my photos as well the cars putting over 500 horse there's no doubt there oh this thing is beautiful beautiful anyway um, if you need financing, your credit score has got to be 625 to 750. That gets you a loan with 10% down. Um, if your credit score is 750 and higher, I can get you done with no money down option, a little bit better rates. So for all you people that are between 625 and 750, go to mgmclassiccars.com for the application and fill it out. For everyone who's 750 and above, go to lightstream.com and fill out the application. You'll be notified the same, the same day or worst case scenario the next day. It just depends the time of the day you do the application. For driveway delivery, text me your zip code and I'll get you a quote. If you're watching this on YouTube, okay, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to my channel. If you're watching this on Facebook, like it and share it, people. Thank you so much. Again, my name is Thomas. I'm coming to you from MGMClassicCars.com. It's been a pleasure talking about this bad-ass Chevelle for the last 15 minutes. Excited to drive it. Yeah, the whole front end comes up on its baby. It's amazing. Love this car, man. The torque, you can't replace it. 502 motor is where it's at. Call me, text me at 847-848-1850. I do prefer text message. If um, I don't get back to you right away, call 773-600-0919. Ask for Earl Goldberg. Thanks for watching MGMClassicCars.com.